Now this one is a really interesting test for you guys. It's all about the engine bay temperatures and the ambient temperatures. And as we die in all the time and try to show you guys all the details that we raise with the velocity stack out of the headlight like this, of course, engine bay temp is meaningless, right? But of course, it's another interesting aspect or interesting question that we got to find out and share with you guys. So, yep, we're going to test all of this. Yes, we got a digital thermometer to check ambient temperatures and engine bay temperatures. So we got two. So we're going to check all those sensors there. We're going to test it next to a candle. It won't be connected. It won't be touching it. Just really close. Just to see if the, the, so we can see the delta of the temperatures. There, see, it's not really sticky. And yes, it's changing. So, yep, we're going to test it in the car, on my car here on idle but it's still cold so we just started it so we gotta warm it up yep get this all good so yep let's go <laughs> Okay, first things first, like and follow our new page. I had to make a new one because my old Facebook got hacked. I lost control of the old page, so now I got to make this one. It has all the prices, including head porting, engine rebuild, cam degree, intake porting manifold, and even EC tuning. And you can see on the page, we constantly post updates. And here, we posted it about the intake, and that's what led to the intake test that we did. The two intake test videos, yep, and of course, another subsequent topic there they would talk about you know the hood has to be shut closed or both the bottle has to be closed so yep but here if you don't have facebook we got our instagram it's also here it's my personal instagram but i use it for srd motorsports as you can see i update the post there yep you can hit me up there or in facebook and if you guys like short content we got my tiktok here i pinned all three videos of me playing guitar but it's all car stuff there so you check out all three link will be in the description below all right here now to start i mean don't get me wrong getting the bonnet or the hood closed it does make sense but as you look at here on the dyno the car is strapped so it's not moving forward so it's gonna generate way way more heat than you than you expect or than you see on the streets because look the bumper grill and the grill itself will not take in air or as much as just have a fan there so it won't be the same so we got some digital ther thermometers here with all the answers to get the temperature over there all right yes but before we continue hit the like button if you're liking this video it's helping that so you know the more likes and the gets more activities and the algorithm will pick it up and spread it out to a wider audience so it definitely helps me and the channel so thank you for that all right and if you haven't you gotta subscribe this way you can watch all the other videos we have extensive videos in the playlist you can binge watch it on it on your own time when you're subscribed because you can check it out whenever you feel like and plus you get notifications of the new videos all right yes for the hardcore we got more than 20 videos of extensive tech videos like in the chamber work dyno even dyno tuning itself the adjustments we do to make power even engine building tricks it's all there it's gonna get boring but for the hardcore it's gonna be just right okay so i'll see you there so here it is for satisfaction and contentment we're gonna test this out next to a candle so we see the delta temperature the differences let's take it here it's not gonna be you know touching it or just gonna be close by just to see the temp temp temperature differences sorry there's okay it's you know it's showing significant differences now right not too much it's still room temperature but there's a difference there Okay, so now let's get on the engine bay. Let's go. So we stick one of the sensor here because if it's gonna be close to the radiator, it might pull in fresh air, so it's gonna get manipulated. But here, there's a rubber seal on the hood, so it's closed up. Yep, and the other one by the side mirror here, so you can read up ambient ambient temperature on the outside, right? Okay, so now here the wires are up there, we'll close it. So now we're gonna, we idle the car, but it's still too cold as you can see. So the temperature is still equal or almost equal to the ambient temperature and engine bay, all right? So we're gonna let it sit here for about 35 to 40 minutes. It's gonna take a while to get it to operating temperature. So we'll sit back and wait. And now it's here. I 
operating temperatures. And yes, look, it's higher, 33.6 and 52.4. It keep going up because, you know, it's not moving forward. It just strapped like on the dyno. It's parked there. Okay. Yep. It's going to keep going up, going higher. But yep, let's go. Let's go drive it out. Here we are driving it out. As you can see, the heat soak is still there. The engine base 55. Okay. Yep. And we're trying to maintain 40 kilometers per hour so we don't go any faster. It's still there. The, the delta difference is still there. So you can see, oh, there's a, there's a van up front. See, it's around 40. So it's over plus or minus 2 kilometers per hour. Here is still 40. Oh, it's going down, but you know, the engine bay is still hotter. As you can see here, this is uphill. So, you know, in case people would say that we're just cruising downhill, nope, this is uphill. So, there's load, there's definitely load on the car and the engine to move forward. But now it's around 15 degrees difference. Oh, interesting. And now, oh, look, it's just 13 degrees difference. And we're just running at 40 kilometers, kilometers per hour. Imagine if we went faster, right? But we tried to maintain it like this. Okay, so now let's head back. Here, because we slowed down. Let's see, it's a lot slower now. Let's see the temperature. Oh, it's going back up. 55, 32 and 55. So, you know, a lot now. So we shut down the car. Look at that. That's like 34, 35 degrees difference. And we, it's already shut down. That's because there's no air. That's because the car is not moving forward. Just like on the dyno, right? That's why the temperature keep going up. So look, it's just like that. It's not moving forward. So yes, I understand that people asking for the, you know, gotta test it with the hood closed. Sure, but then you gotta tape up your bumper and let us know how it goes. And also on this one here, it's a little different because we race with the velocity stack outside the headlight. So, you know, hood hood is hood closed or open. It's, it's going to be the same because the velocity stack is sticking out on the headlight. It's going to pull air from the outside. So this is good as it is. So, you know, so it's going to be interesting for more tests. But hey, you know what? On the next video on Tuesday, we're going to do the same test on my Honda Civic. It has a customer engine with the auto autocross setup on the D16, so it's going to be high compression. And we'll continue with my Chevrolet Optra, do further tests, possibly drive a little faster or further to see the delta difference of the temperature outside on the ambient and on the engine bay. So we're going to see how it goes. Yep. And of course, as you know it, it'll be, it'll be on the end screen later. You can check out the playlist, but yep, you're gonna click it over on the end screen. It's gonna come up now. Wait up. Here. Yeah. All right.